What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about Strawberry Smiggles, a fictional cereal from Rick and Morty, the popular cartoon on Adult Swim. Now, I know there are a lot of Rick and Morty fans out there who are familiar with this show and know this reference, but let me give a quick refresher for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. Rick and Morty is an animated show created by Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland. It premiered on Adult Swim in 2013, and there have been three seasons of the show. It follows the misadventures of alcoholic mad scientist Rick Sanchez and is easily influenced fretful, anxious, young grandson named Morty. In a way, it's a bit of a parody of Back to the Future, playing off scatterbrained scientist Doc Brown and Marty McFly. But the show is crazier and much more reverent than anything in Back to the Future. The fan base of Rick and Morty can be a bit annoying, but overall I find the show entertaining and fun, though not necessarily funny. And before I get a lot of backlash from the diehard Rick and Morty fans out there, let me just reiterate, I really like the show. I've seen all the episodes, I think the plots are smart, the writing at times is clever, I got a Rick and Morty t-shirt. I'm a big fan. I am. I just don't find the humor stacks up against other shows that I've loved, like The Simpsons, Futurama, South Park, Bob's Burgers, Archers, Frisky Dingo, Boondocks, Home Movies, Ren and Stimpy. I could go on and on and on. But hey, if we all had the same sense of humor, life would be pretty boring, right? And if I like something that you don't, it doesn't mean that I'm right or superior to you. Just like, if you like something that I don't like, it doesn't mean that you're wrong or stupid. We all have different tastes and it's all subjective. With the exception, of course, being Crave Cereal. If you like that stuff, you're just a lesser human being. Obviously, I'm joking. Or am I? Anyway, let's get back to Strawberry Smiggles. This cereal is featured in an episode of Rick and Morty called Rick's D Minutes. In that episode, the crew basically sat around watching made-up TV shows and commercials. One of those commercials was for this cereal, Strawberry Smiggles. The mascot for this cereal is this guy named Top Hat Jones, who's clearly a parody of Lucky the Leprechaun, but the rabbit ears suggest he's also got a bit of the trick's rabbit in him too. One of these mascots, Lucky, spends his life trying to stop kids from getting his Lucky Charm cereal, while the other mascot, the Trix Rabbit, spends his life trying to get a bowl of Trix cereal. This Top Hat Jones fella is greedy and plans to stop kids from getting his cereal by eating all of them, therefore leaving none for the pesky children. But the children have different plans for him. They tape him down, cut open his stomach, pull out his entrails, and feast on the blood-soaked pieces of Strawberry Smiggles cereal. It's kind of gross and silly and dark, but again, not really laugh out loud funny. But who cares, it doesn't matter. It inspired the production of a real life Strawberry Smiggles cereal. You can see the box here looks exactly like the box in the Rick and Morty cartoon with Top Hat Jones here and then a bowl of these brightly colored Strawberry Smiggles. And then on the back of the box here, they have Top Hat Jones all taped down and ready to be cut open. It even tells you to cut here to get your Strawberry Smiggles, but I think we're gonna get the cereal by opening the box the old fashioned way. So here's what a bowl of Top Hat Jones's Strawberry Smiggles look like. You can see they're just multicolored marbits. And not even the cool marbits from Lucky Charms, just kind of bland and boring shapes. There are some orange and red triangles. The green and purple marbits are shaped like moons. And then the blue ones are just plain old squares. But if you weren't lucky enough to win one of those all marshmallow boxes of Lucky Charms, or you don't feel like buying a big bag of marbits online, this is probably your best bet to get your all marbit cereal fix. Let's give them a try. Yep. That's Marbits. I was hoping they added a little strawberry flavoring to the marshmallows, but no luck there. Just plain old regular Marbits. As you've seen on here, I've had bowls of Marbit cereal before, but the novelty wears off kind of quickly. It's a little too sweet for me. I don't see anyone eating this as a regular cereal, but if you do, beware of those pesky children showing up to cut open your stomach. Okay, so where can you find this stuff? Well, it's not at your regular grocery store. You can buy boxes of strawberry Smiggles from FYE stores or online at FYE.com. Now FYE is the same company who produced Bootios, the made up cereal from WWE's tag team, The New Day. So hopefully they continue producing these fun, fictional pop culture cereals. I know there are a bunch of other fictional cereals that I'd love to see on shelves. What about Spaceballs, the cereal? Maybe when the sequel comes out. Or Lucky Chomps from Zootopia. Or what about Tasty Wheat from the Matrix films? Or there was that cereal Pine and Oats from Minority Report with the animated characters on the box who were actually animated on the box? Or who remembers Turbo Man cereal from Jingle All the Way? Or Purple Berry Puffs from Futurama? This one was one of my favorites, obviously because it was a great flavored cereal. Or let's not forget Great White Bites, which was featured in Planet Terror by Robert Rodriguez. And most recently, Coconut Crunch O's from the TV show Atlanta on FX. That show made a really funny commercial for this one. And I can actually see Coconut Crunch O's becoming a reality. Come on, FYE, let's make this one happen. So what else? Are there any other cool made up cereals from movies or TV shows that you love to try and see on shelves? Let me know in the comments. All right, well, that's gonna do it for Strawberry Smiggle Cereal. As always, 
Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. I wonder what's inside Lucky's stomach.